By now, all of us know how much prices are fluctuating, and now GM is releasing a new $10,000 truck. And you must be thinking, will this be a good truck? The reality is that whatever the outcome, it's all good for us. Because this means a new, cheaper option and a whole new market segment. And we have already thought about that question, and what we found is truly surprising. The strategy, the impact, and the performance of this truck are very different from the usual. But first things first, why? Lately, everything has gone up, and when someone says just $10,000 for a truck, surely you'll ask why, and that's exactly what we did. But just think about it. It's not just cars and trucks, everything has gone up, and now they have to come down. This makes sense, and it's already happening. Don't take our word for it. Just look at all the new models, the Toyota Land Cruiser, the Ford Maverick, and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. It is the current trend. So this is the perfect time for GM to revive the legendary Chevrolet Montana. It was a very popular, capable, and versatile truck, so it shouldn't really be a surprise. But the real question, which we'll talk about in depth later on, is how they'll be able to do this, because that is how they'll come out on top of the competition. GM is not the only one coming up with a $10,000 truck. Toyota just launched the IMV Zero, a truck with the same price, but these two trucks are very different. Originally, the Chevrolet Montana was a compact truck, but slowly, as more and more larger trucks started to gain popularity, and as big trucks became the new cool thing, GM had to discontinue making trucks that nobody bought. But this time, it's very different. Ironically, smaller trucks are the new cool things, so what will it be like? Performance They have to satisfy what the demand wants, because that's the whole concept in the first place. And Barra has said that this truck will not compromise on features or quality. But the Toyota CEO has said the same thing about the IMV Zero 2. And both companies have a strong record to show that they can actually make reliable cars. So, what makes the GM truck different? The Chevrolet Montana will be targeted at a different audience. This is the main difference, and the target market is the main determining factor for any product. It'll be made for people who need just enough power, good reliability, versatile functionality, and efficiency. This is not a car that you buy to look cool, though it does look really good, and there will definitely be a lot of collectors and enthusiasts that would want to own one. It is a truck to buy when you want a cheaper alternative to the big, overpriced trucks. It's not going to be a heavy-duty truck by any means, but it will be enough for daily activities. So there is more to this truck than just affordability, and Montana will be equipped with modern infotainment systems and all the essential technological features. GM has to do this, especially if they plan to compete in the urban market, so it will come with a wide range of safety features. But how will they be able to do it? If you look at the new and cheaper models, you can recognize a similar pattern on all of them. The first thing is focusing on one specific thing and leaving all the rest, which seems like a counterproductive thing, but it is working. This is the same thing that Ford did with the Maverick and Toyota did the same thing with the Land Cruiser. This way, they'll get roughly the same amount of profit while offering a cheaper price tag. Whether we like it or not, the main objective of manufacturers is to make profit, and they'll never do anything to jeopardize that. But if you're wondering how they get away with cutting down on features, it's simple. Whenever they do this, they just put a market gimmick on it. For the Maverick, it was the efficiency and reliability. For the Land Cruiser, it was the retro minimal look and off-road capability. And for the Montana, it could be efficiency and retro charm with functionality. But in our opinion, they don't need to do any of that because this truck is very cheap, and the main selling point is that anything else is second to that. But there is one major reason why they will have to put a similar strategy in place for the Montana. We will talk about it in depth in just a few minutes, because there is one thing we have to talk about first. Impact The Montana has shocked everyone. That's not an arguable statement. This truck will put GM in a good position even outside of the US. But in the US, things could be very different because almost every major automaker is striving for complete dominance. This intense competition has driven up prices, often to the point where trucks are more about status symbols than workhorses. This is the reality of the market, but don't take our word for it. Just look at Toyota's global truck lineup. Around the world, Toyota offers the Hilux, a rugged and reliable pickup that's often preferred over the Tacoma. And in Australia, it's sold for a price of around $20,000. So, ask yourself, why isn't the Hilux available in the US? 
it all comes down to Toyota's focus on the Tacoma and Tundra. And here, if you have one of those, it loosely means you're cool, right? However, if General Motors can successfully crack the global truck market with this upcoming electric pickup, it could open the door for other automakers, including Toyota, to bring their global truck offerings to the US. And this will force other US manufacturers like Ford, Ram, and Jeep to come up with something unique and practical to compete with the whole world. This is good for us. It'll bring more competition to both the US and global markets. And it's already started. Ford just announced that they're making the Ranger a global truck. But there is still a lot for the Chevrolet Montana to overcome, so let's talk about it. Competition and Challenges This should not be a surprising thing. Of course, there are many hurdles GM needs to overcome before they can bring their electric truck to the market. First and foremost, they need to keep it within the budget. While we've talked about how this could be achieved, it's important to remember that cheaper products often come with compromises in terms of quality and longevity. And don't forget about after-sales service. That is a crucial factor for any vehicle purchase. But even if they can address these issues, GM still faces a major challenge, convincing consumers that their new truck is a worthy investment, not just a cheap, last-ditch effort. They'll need to persuade us that buying an untested, unproven truck is a better choice than sticking with a well-established brand with a proven track record. Be honest and answer. Would you buy a $10,000 truck when you can have an older Tacoma for the same price? Tacomas are excellent and bigger, but most of all, you wouldn't have to worry about its reliability. And it's not just the Tacoma, that's just one example. Wouldn't you wait some more time until you save some more money to buy a new Maverick or the Santa Cruz? Tell us in the comments, we genuinely want to know. But here is where things get interesting. Remember when we said that the market strategy that these new, cheaper models implement is very crucial? Here is why we said that. Because if GM gets it right, then all of us wouldn't be talking about any of the flaws. Our attention would be on the one thing that it will do perfectly, and that is what makes sales. Again, look at the Maverick. When it came out, everyone was talking about how cheap it was or how efficient it was. No one stopped and waited for the next generation to come out and let Ford fix any issues it might have had. And it had so many issues. But it worked. In just a week, it had so many orders that Ford couldn't keep up with the demand. And that is also one thing that GM needs to fix. Demand and availability. If this truck is successful, and to be honest, even if it's not, the demand will be very high. Everyone is waiting for GM's next big reveal. And we all know what that means. The same story that happened on the launch of the Maverick is coming for GM2. Everything is set for it to happen. The price will be very high and dealerships will be doing what they did one more time. But there is hope. The Maverick was the hottest topic for this reason and almost everyone knows how bad it got. So if we've learned from the past, maybe it wouldn't happen again and maybe history wouldn't repeat itself. And there is a good chance for that because there is one more big difference between the Maverick and the Montana. And that's the price. Sure, the 20 grand was cheap, but $10,000 is just absurd. And that is why, if the price increases significantly, there'll be no one to buy it. So what does all of this mean to you? We're entering a new era where cars will be focused on one thing and one thing only. It would be a competition to offer a truck that has the best combination of features that fit a wide audience. And to be honest, it is better that way. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.